Okay, so in this example, what I recognize, read right? What I recognize is my first term is going to be x to the seventh, and kind of like how I represent it here, my last term would be y to the zero. Would everybody agree with me that would be my first term? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, basically what I'm going to be doing is going from every single term, and remember what we saw was that the powers, my first term powers, go in descending order, and my second term powers go in ascending power. Now, it is also important to recognize that when we're dealing with this, when we're talking about this, it's also probably be helpful to recognize this as x plus negative y to the seventh. Okay? Because we, when we're writing our binomial squared, we want to think of this as like adding. And so what I'm going to do is actually write this as negative y to the zero. And I'll explain why that makes sense. After I'll explain, show you why that makes sense here at the end. So my next term is going to be plus x to the seventh, negative y to the first, plus x to the fifth, negative y squared, plus x to the fourth, negative y cubed, plus x to the cubed, negative y squared, or sorry, fourth, plus x squared, negative y to the fifth, I'm running out of space, plus x to the first, negative y to the sixth, plus x to the zero, negative y to the seventh. Ran out of space over here. But does everybody see how I did that in my descending powers? Yes? OK. Now, the next thing that we need to recognize over here is Pascal, that relationship, the first thing people saw was the relationship of the powers. The first term always starts at the highest and then goes down in ascending order. The second term always starts at 0 and then goes in ascending order. But that wasn't the only relationship, right? Vivian noticed there was a relationship in the coefficients. And that's how we came across Pascal's triangle. However, I only went up to the fifth row of Pascal's triangle. So again, if we're going to have to continue this, right, because we've got to go to the seventh, then I'm going to add another 1 and then combine my two terms to get to the next row. So this would be 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1. So that's to the sixth power. And I need to the seventh. So that's going to be 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, and 1. Yes? How did you then stop going and just switch at 4, 3? Like what do you mean? 5, x7, x6, x5, x4, x3, x2, x1, x0. So I'm going all the way down. And then I'm starting with the y's. y to 0, y to 1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, y7. Does that make sense? OK. So then we've got to take our coefficients. Again, this is from Pascal's triangle. Each coefficient has its own pattern as well. 1, again, I'm taking these from Pascal's triangle. 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, and 1. Now those are all multiplied by there. So here comes the thing where people are going to get stuck. It was that whole negative thing. If you guys remember, I told you to take neg I told you to rewrite this as a positive because a ne we're really taking the negative y raising it to the power. The reason why this is important is because anything to the 0, that's to the first power. So that's not that bad. But then the next term is a positive 7. But notice, if I have negative y raised to the first power, that's really just negative y raised to the first power is negative y. So a negative times 7 is really not adding this. I'm actually subtracting negative 7x to the sixth. Here I have negative y squared. Negative y squared is now positive y squared. Positive times positive is going to be plus a 21. Oops, I saw it add the y there. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Y is still there. Plus 21, positive 21, x to the fifth y squared. This is raised to the odd power, so it's going to turn into a negative. Negative 35 x to the fourth y cubed. Negative to an even power makes it positive. So therefore, it's plus 35x cubed, y to the fourth. That goes negative 21x squared, y to the fifth, 
that becomes positive, plus 7, x, y to the 6th. And then last but not least, this is negative, negative. That goes to 1, so y to the 7th. Now, actually, guys, in reality, Pascal's triangle is nice because it can save us.